México y el río Pachopo. El Intocable himself, the youngest reality wrestling champion in the history of this company, a three-time champion as it goes. Gino, none too pleased with the outcome to the vacancy for the Texas Championship. He got into a mix a little bit with Rex Andrews, and then we saw what happened. Will Alday able to defeat him and become the new Texas champion. And Book, you've seen the sky being the limit for Gino since day one. 16 years old, this kid started reality wrestling. And, you know, you say uh, from uh, boys to men, uh, that's Gino. He is definitely uh, one of the guys that you say, I want to be like you. Um, this is one of the best guys I've ever seen. Um, you know, what's next for Gino? What's the, what's the limit? You know, there is no glass ceiling for this young man. Uh, I can't wait to see exactly what he does in this When you talk about boys to men, there is no end of the road for Zach Mason. It seems to be his ascension is just beginning. I mean, yeah, I mean, um, uh, look at Zach Mason. He's a kid that's come a long way in reality of wrestling. But, but, but you look at this matchup tonight, Zach Mason against, you know, Gino. That right there is, that's a, that, like I said, that's a huge task uh, for, for Zach Mason. I wonder um, if the experience is going to be a little bit too much for, for Zach Mason. I wonder if the moment is going to be too big for, for, for a guy like Zach Mason. Zach Mason, let's just get it out there. He is the underdog tonight in this match. Yeah, betting odds would be against Zach Mason, a man who rose to wrestling royalty last year, winning that single night tournament on pay-per-view event. You could still see that on the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel or on Fight TV. Former Reality Wrestling Tag Team Champion. But there is no doubt about it. The man with all the experience, the man with everything under the sun right now still is Gino. I mean, um, Gino is going to play this thing, man, real close to the vest. He's just going to wait on this kid to make a mistake, and he's going to capitalize off it. Because the thing is this, Zach Mason is going to be almost impossible for him to go through this match without making at least one, two, maybe three mistakes, and that might be just too much. We shall see. You see the aerial coverage right there. Drone camera. We call it the Casper Cam because it's just floating out there like a ghost. Very, very quiet, man. We'll sneak up on you in a heartbeat. See this right here? This is just a frustration tactic right here. You can see Zach Mason is over zealous. He, he wants to get in there and get this thing started. And that right there, that right there is one mistake already. Gino's going to play the mind game. Second generation performer trained under yourself, Booker T. Beautiful weight slot takedown there by Zach Mason. Right into an arm bar. Trying to stay real close to the body of Gino, and that's a good idea. Trying to get a cover right here quick. Front face lock there by Zach Zilla, but he gets taken right there. See, you got to watch yourself all the time right back to it. Zach Mason working on his chain gang, and I gotta, you got to love it. Zach Mason was somebody, Booker T, who you said came to a fantasy camp, and you saw potential all over this man. No, he came to a fantasy camp uh, maybe 15, 16 years old. I couldn't believe it. And then um, he graduated from high school, and then he came to another fantasy camp, and then he moved to Houston to pursue his dream. And, you know, I love it. I love watching uh, someone like a Zach Mason pursue his dream and then get this far so quickly, but still yet so far to go. We talk about Gino, second generation performer. He is the son of the late El Sangre Nario, a Lucha Libre legend down in Mexico. Oh, oh man, knife edge shot there. But I tell you, Zach Zilla, he, he's taking that chop. That second one lit him up a little bit. Man, those knife edge chops are, they're hot. 
uh, they're, they're fast, they're quick. Right now, Gino is teaching this kid a lesson. <clears throat> well, Booker T, the only way that Zach Mason can continue to progress in his career is by facing people that he is the underdog against. You have to go up against somebody who might be, quote unquote, better than you. I mean, it's one of those things. It's, it's uh, building blocks. You got to be able to get in there and, you know, know if you can take it or not. And, and right now, um, Gino is just one step ahead of Zach Mason. And iron sharpens iron. Wow. Beautiful there. Gino, great ring awareness, able to get out of the way. I mean, there again, uh, Gino's just a step ahead of this kid. The kid is. Right now is what's called, this is what's called on-the-job training for Zach Mason. He may not get a win here tonight, but he's going to walk away with a world of experience after taking on someone like Gino. Gino just put the boot to the neck of Zach Mason. I mean, the only thing is, Gino just moving around the ring effortlessly. I mean, it seems like it's so easy. It's like waking up in the morning and taking a little stroll. But Gino will make it look that easy. Hesitation kick there. Couple of them to match it. Swing and a miss by Zach Mason. Getting the second time, Gino. See, that's what, Zach, that's what Zach Mason has a chance. Uh, you, you, you talk about a good fight, and you say, yeah, this guy didn't have a chance, but we call it a puncher's chance. That's what Zach Mason has in this matchup right here. He has a puncher's chance. Land one big shot. Right now, Gino looks like he tweaked the knee. Oh! Big shoulder block there from Zach Mason, who definitely has a strength advantage over Gino. Gino definitely is feeling that knee book. Gino tweaked the knee right now. I mean, I, I saw that earlier. But I, I didn't know how bad it was. But right now, the referee, that, like we said earlier, he may have to you know, have the wherewithal and understanding and know how uh, to step in here and just, but wait a minute. Gino tried to play a little pause. I think right that he did, there. but oh, look right. at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful switch kick right over. One. Two. Like, that, that would have been worth it. Somebody there and again. Big move alarms going off all around the house here tonight. Hit the button. Oh, there we go. And Gino's trying to hit the button against Zach Mason and put a stop to this match and put a stop to the momentum of the big man. Oh, look at that. Pulling back on the hair. Zach Mason's going to have to mount some kind of comeback right here. And, and I tell you, the longer this thing goes, the chances for Zach Mason getting the win, uh, it goes down tremendously. So he needs, to, he needs to move. He needs to do something. He needs to do it quick. Quick, fast, and painless is what Zach Mason needs to try to do. But right now, Gino with that knee to the middle of his back, not allowing him. But the man who has the power in his column, the power advantage, trying to power out of that, he does. Oh, wait a minute. Gino went for that hook. Got around it. Tweaked the knee again. Gino, maybe he was playing possum earlier, but doesn't look like it's that way anymore. Mike Mason's putting up a good fight, but I think it's only a matter of time. This kid's look like he's trying. Oh! Kid's smart. He's going to work on that, that, that weak body part, the knee of, of Gino. And look at that. Great idea. The tweak knee, as you astutely pointed out earlier. No, now, now oh. the kid is thinking. I mean, he was going on brute strength earlier in this matchup. And you see, that's not going to work. But an uh, opening uh, window just cracked open with the tweaking of the knee uh, of Gino. Right now, anything could happen. This match is up, is up for grabs right now, Bradley. And Gino finding his way back into it. And that's the one thing, Booker T. If I had to equate Gino to anybody in the reality wrestling, he really is our version of Tom Brady. Ah. This man can never be counted out in the fourth quarter. Quarter cover one, two, and a kick out. Love that little switch right there into a little short clothesline. Reminds me of Jake the Snake. With that little short arm shiver. Always made you, made, just made everything shake, made your teeth rattle. Jake the Snake, 
Had a lot of legendary matches in the Sam Houston Coliseum working under Paul Bosch back in the day. I believe you attended some of those shows. Yes, I did. I'm watching, you know, someone like the, the, the snake do his business back in the day. You learn a lot from that. Right now, I look at Gino and the, the cerebral ass, you know, one like uh, Jake the Snake. This kid is really, really good. He's smooth. He has everything to be great in this business. Gino just leaning on the big man, keeping that grip around the neck of Zach Mason, wearing him down. And that is how you beat somebody who has the strength advantage. You get him to slow down. Make him play your game. Keep him real close to the body right now. Gino is, you know, almost, you know, I would say he's mounting, but in a side mount position, you know, just working on, uh, you know, making Zach Mason have to breathe a little bit harder, you know, and that right there, like you say, it's going to wear you down over a period of time. Yeah, good strategy there by the veteran Gino, the three-time reality of wrestling champion, but the knee really giving him problems. And Zach Mason being somewhat merciless in attacking the injured body part of Gino. Come on, I mean, this is not uh, a ballet or anything like that. You're, you're out there to hurt your opponent. You're out there to get a victory. You're out there to move up the ladder here in reality of wrestling. And the only way you're going to do that is to pin your Ooh. opponent. And right now, Zach Mason's got, you know, money on his mind. And I like that attitude. Oh, Look at that. yeah. Beautiful from Zach Mason. Just sending Gino up and over with the strength that we talked about. But how much is that taking out of him? I mean, you see I him mean, breathing on, harder. Let's look, at, let's look at Zach Mason. He looked fatigued. I mean, come on. I mean, just look at his look at his body language. It tells me a whole lot about this young man. But he, he still has a lot of power, though. Cover one, two. Kick out after two from Gino. Let's go. Zach Mason's up on his feet. He's on his feet quick. That's something I always teach my guys. Make sure you get to your feet quick. Zach Mason right now, he's, he's definitely taking my advice as far as that goes. A couple shots there to the oh, dome from Gino. Wow. That, that left, that right elbow, excuse me, might have done the trick. Gino, cover though by Zach Mason. One, two. Oh, wait a minute. Zach's trying to pull oh, something wait a minute. here. Zach's trying to pull something. He may, have, he may need to roll the opposite way. He's trying to get a submission maneuver, and I think that he's got it somewhat locked in, a modified version, nevertheless. He didn't get all of it right there. Zach is just looking for something. He's trying anything to try to get a victory right here. That's why I say this kid is almost, he's running out of ideas. I was about to ask, do you think that these are moves out of desperation as Gino trying to get him up, and that right knee not allowing him to do so? Oh, wow! Gino rolls through. Some classic Gino. Oh, running power bump. That's gotta One, be it. Two. And turning it, though, over into a half crab. A oh, single leg Boston oh, crab. Gino right in the middle of the ring right there. It's not a good position for Gino. And, and I tell you, if, if this kid get a win over Gino, that's going to tell him he can do He can beat anyone here in reality of wrestling. Gino able to get to the ropes. Great ring awareness by the veteran. But I look at Zach Mason, he held on to that hole for four and a half seconds. So that's telling me the kid is thinking. He's using every little bit of advantage he possibly can. And the five second rule just came into play right there. Oh! Oh, oh switch kick. Gino can cover him right now, I think. But Gino can't capitalize Gino on that can Booker just team. get over there to turn this young man over and cover Look him. Look at Zach Mason. He is laying there lifeless. Zach Mason has not moved in about 25 seconds. He's down. He's down. That switch kick caught, caught him right on the temple. Mason is down. Gino He's looking for, for the scar of the letter. But, oh, wow. Zach Mason pulls him right back. And now finding a second win in front of this reality of wrestling crowd. And going for it. Beautiful, beautiful headlock takeover right there. Into a, oh, what is going on here? He got Number it. one, two, reversal one, two, three. Wow. Zach Mason did it. Zach Mason did it. Zach Mason found a way. Wow. Well, Booker T, I would like to say out of obscurity, the underdog in this contest prevails. Whether it be by a reversal or not, he is the winner.
And you know what? I'm, I've been surprised. Is anyone here tonight watching reality wrestling, watch Zach Mason get a victory over Gino? And, and the thing is that uh, he definitely snatched victory right from the jaws uh, of Gino. I mean, he had him a pit in a pity position, and somehow Zach Mason turned it all around to get a victory. You gotta look big, big victory for Zach Mason. Zach Zell is on his way.